YouTube, my name is Wildboy5699. Welcome back to another video. Now, I tried to do this video a couple of months ago, and it didn't get uploaded for some reason. And when it did, it only got like two views in like two hours or three hours, and it only got like none dis, uh, none likes or anything. So I said, fuck it. I'll just delete it and do that uh, another time. But I wanted to do this video for a while since I've been collecting a lot of anime stuff and getting into the anime world. Now, I decided, you know... Uh, I was going to show off my Blu-ray anime collection, DVD, whatever thing. So, I bought these animes because I've heard of them. I've interested them. And some of them I, I haven't got the time to watch yet. But I thought they looked really cool. And maybe one of these days I will get to them, to these eventually. But I just go to Vintage Stock or look online or stuff that, you know, piques my interest or something. I'm like, ooh, I got to check this out, you know, and see who's in it and what stuff they played in in the past and stuff like that so like i said some of these i've seen them all some of them i've seen a little bit of it some of these i've seen half of it some of them i haven't seen at all because i haven't had time but i'm going to jump and to do and to show and end up and some of them i've talked about many of times some of them i showed in unboxings and then other times i've showed them in collection update videos and stuff like that uh but we're gonna just go one by one and show you guys what uh anime blu-rays they have so let's jump right in so the first one First four, right off the bat, and I'm just going to get these out of the way now because I talked about these many times, is the complete series of High School DxD. We got season one right there, I think. Yeah, season one right there. And then we got season two called New, which I've, I've sat through all of season one and two. I've sat through all uh, halfway through season three called Born, and I have seen bits and pieces of season f uh, four, Hero. And... Um, I bought these three brand new off of eBay, and I bought this at the grand opening at Vintage Stock. So we're, I'm going to go one by one. Um, so this one actually came from Rogers uh, when I ordered it off of eBay, which I was I was able to get it the very next day, so very rarely. Uh, but we're going to look inside, look at that, the spine and the back, and of course digital code. I have no idea when it expires and everything, so... and. Um, the disc, and of course, you got the bet also about the two discs and everything. So, very cool. So, that is season one of um, High School DXD. I'm just gonna put these to the side. Then, we got season two, Born High School, uh, or not Born, New. Is this new? Nope, that's the wrong one. There we go. High School DXD season two, New. Kind of blurry, but some of the focus. I usually try to do this in cinematic view. Because it's got better quality, but it just, you know, varies on that. So, uh, season two, uh, you got the sp front spine in the back. Again, digital code. I have no idea when it expires or anything. I just, you know, just have it on the go and stuff like that. Which, of course, you got on, DVD on these ones, you got Rhea's Grimmery, which is best girl. Which everybody says, why Rhea's? I'm like, well, I love Rhea's the best. And Akino comes in second place. Which, you know, I've seen many people say, you know... Rhea's is best girl. I've seen people say Akino's best girl. I even said people said Kanako was best girl, which, you know, I find that kind of a little bit disturbing if you think that's the best girl. Nothing against Kanako, but they're like, oh, Kanako's so hot. Uh, Kanako's 16. So, but that is High School DxD season two. New. Next up we got is season three, Born. That's the one I'm at the show. So you got the front, spine, and the bag. And these DVDs are actually in color. <coughs> Sorry, my third station for some reason. Got the disc in color. Of course, we got digital copy. I have no idea when the digital copy expires, but um, so there's season three, born, and the most recent one, uh, High School DxD season four. Here, this is where the an where the animation style has changed. Uh, people have mixed feelings about that. People said, you know, it's censored, a new animation style, and stuff like that, voice acting and stuff like that. But there's season four. But take this one out. This one comes with a slip cover, and you know, this one has four discs. Episode 0 through 6, how about that? And of course this one, episodes whatever, and this one has a poster of Rios on the in the back, or on the other side, which, you know, I might slip that cup over one of these days. But, like I said, I bought most of these online off of eBay or Amazon or Vintage Stock. The one, I just buy the ones, whichever comes cheaper and ships the fastest. But, or I'd be lucky and i buy them inside. But like I said, I bought... These off of eBay, brand new. I think they're about 35 to 40 bucks. So, you know, you're a little bit pricey when you buy the DVDs. Especially if you want to buy the specials collection with the pillowcases and tissues and stuff like that. And, of course, people are selling 
this D of high season four hero online like ebay for example i've seen them sell for 100 200 bucks brand new and 150 US. but luckily i went to vintage stock uh the day after they opened uh a grand opening weekend and i i know it's a little bit pricey but i still have the price tag on there i bought it for a whopping 50 dollars uh 49.99 which i said i have to get it you know all that so yeah that is high school dxd um series next up we got is the one that has pretty much pretty much the same actors in there i have bought the first four seasons of my hero academia uh spoiler alert i have not at not even attempted to watch this yet um we'll get into it eventually it's the same made by the same people who made um um high school dxd and a lot of these are made by crunchyroll and high school uh funimation stuff like that so first up we're gonna show is uh my hero academia season one and you got the slip cover on that one and of course a lot of people who played in high school dxd also appeared in my hero academia but this is you know a lot more violence but nothing critiques uh provocative stuff like that of course you got the disc and everything and that's that for my hero academia season one next up we got is season two for some reason they do this for some reason they buy uh season two part one and then i also have unopened season two part two so i don't know maybe it's because it's got more episodes or on that but you know i have not attempted to open season two part two yet and i've had it for about over the summer and you go once again slip cover and everything and you know funimation digital copy you know a lot of cool background art discs and all that so very very cool and all that so Damn, computer keeps going off. I'm recording this on my phone because the webcam, I'm like, I need to get a new webcam because the quality is on. That's really shit. I bought it out of a used video game store, which they were asking for outrageous prices, and I only got it because I had a $50 credit limit. So, but that is, you know, part two, season two, part two, I'm sorry. And then I got this for my birthday last year, which is, of course, I'm talking about uh, season three and four, uh, my hack, my horror, my era academia. And of course, I'm talking about um these are walmart exclusive copies so i got these from walmart yeah you can tell the walmart they're falling out of the freaking case and it falling out of the disc and everything so once again this was on the box cover it says crunchy roll <coughs> the season before make sure these don't open so yeah these say crunchy uh crunchy roll which they named it through uh which they renamed funimation to crunchy roll and it's actually the uh, studio is actually outside of Dallas, Texas, and it's not far from, not far from where I live. You know, I was like, you know, I knew it was in Texas, but I didn't realize it was like Dallas, Fort Worth area. I didn't realize it was that far, and I've been to Dallas a handful of times. By the way, my Echo Cup's freaking amazing. So next up, a couple of other stuff, but you got to get this one off the bat because this show is hilarious as shit. It's a short run series, of course. I'm talking about Panty and Stocking. This. Ran from 2012, and it's very, very gratuitous, violent, um, uh, explicit co uh, content and everything. So you got the two discs, and you got um, the digital code. And, um, of course, you got the same people who played in High School DXD and everything. I'm actually going to flip this around so I can show you the main cover. Because, you know, a lot of these cool ones are two-sided. So that is that side. So I'm probably going to change it back real quick. And, of course, high uh, no, you know, it's not as provocative as high school dx well yeah it's you know there's not much nudity in it but it's just a vulgar vulgar language this is what if you think angry video game nerds series was provocative and explicit language this is pretty much what it is but 10 times worse with violence and everything so but it's a hilarious show i would recommend it's fucking hilarious so got his panty and stocking next up we got is a new one i picked up not uh, the other day, and of course, I'm talking about how to summon a demon lord. Now, I only bought this one because the very first Comic Con I was at in Northwest Arkansas, Comic Con, the main character played by Eric Value, Val, was there, and I had no idea who he was until I watched this. I'm like, damn, I missed out. But also, it's got Jade Saxon in it, who plays Comic Con High School DXC, which I gotta have to check this out and watch a little bit. Like I said, made by Funimation, so a couple people who. You know, we're work for Funimation at that Comic Con, like, you know, who worked with Jamie March and Jay Sass, I like Eric Val, James Michael Tatum, I'm like, damn. I wasn't into the anime world, I was just getting into it just a little bit. But hopefully next year, 
Uh, I know when I go to the Missouri Comic Con, so far they only cast announced two voice actors anime, which is Caitlin Glass and another person. So hopefully one of these days they'll have a Comic Con. They're, they're popping up everywhere in the area. Like you know, they got the one they got the one in Northwest Arkansas, got one in Springfield, Missouri. I'm going to got one in Little Rock or Arkansas Comic Con. I'm just hoping one of these Comic Cons, uh, you know, brings somebody from High School DXC, whether it be Jamie Marchi, Jesse Grill, Jade Saxon, uh, anybody pretty much who I want to meet. So that it, um yeah. I had a summon a demon lord. Uh, somebody recommended this to me on my disc on the disc message me on Discord, and they told me it was a really good. So I said, "All right, I'll check it out just for just for the heck of it." So that is how to summon a demon lord. If I can close it, maybe. Well, shit. Oh well. There we go. How to summon a demon lord. Next we got is something I have not watched yet. That's not even an anime. So. Uh, this one I picked up because it looked interesting, but it's not actually from Funimation, but it's actually called Elf Elfin Lied. Now apparently this is a um, graphic show. It's not. It's pretty old. It's from 2004, so 20 uh, 20 years this year. And you know, it's basically about you know one is a babe and the other one's a vicious killer. I've not watched it. I think there's only 13 episodes, which is uncensored, so very cool like that. The complete collection. I picked this up at Vintage Shop because it looked very, very interesting. And I thought, hey, why not just check this out just for hex of it. There's the disc. So I said, why not? Just heck, check it out and everything. So next up, we got is, is a short mini series. I'm only three episodes in, you know, and each episode's like an hour and a half long. But I'm telling us what I'm talking about. Um, Ren, the Daughters of Menace. But this is a short-lived mini series from the early 2000s. Uh, you know, Jimmy Marshy's in it and Carlin Klinderblack. I don't know if I said that right or anything, but it's a short-lived series, you know, like High School DxD, very graphic, violent, sexy, and stuff like that, so, but I recommend it. it's a short-lived, only six episodes, but each episode's like an hour long, so it makes it worthwhile, so, very interesting, I would recommend it, um, made by Funimation, so there's that, and the American version, so there's that. Next up we got is a light, actually a lighthearted series from what I've heard. And of course I'm talking about a show called Orange. Now basically this is about, you know, somebody's meeting their future self and everything. And, you know, it's, apparently it said heartstrings and everything. So I thought, hey, I would rec recommend it. And like I said, I've not watched anything. I just read them in the back and it piques my interest. You know, I've been busy with work and stuff like that. So... One of these days, I will sit down in my big projector and put it in my PS5 and have it on the big screen. But it looks cute, so I may have to check it out one day in the future. It's lighthearted. It's only PG, so not TV-14 or, or um, MA, so very cool. The next one I saw at the first season or the first trailer for the High School DxD, and I bought this off the Vintage Stock website. It's called We Without Wings, and of course, this is MA. It looks lighthearted, but I think it's a very grotesque, yeah... Good test. I think a couple people from high school DXD played it. I'm not 100% sure. Only five minutes of extra run times, you know. Funimation, once again, it's a lot by Funimation. Like I said, I'm new to the anime, new, still new into the anime world, so which I want to watch a little bit more Funimation. A lot of people tell me to branch out to One Piece or Attack on Titans and stuff like that. So I'll watch whenever, whenever I get time. Make sure everything's still here. Yes. So that is We Without Wings. Last we got another one that picked my interest and this is crunchy roll or same people and this is called the testament of the uh the testament of sister new devil season one and two i have no idea how many seasons are of this series is but it's got kira berkland who's a voice actor who um plays in a lot of video games and stuff like that and so you know you got the disc right there season one and two which is very cool i might have to check this out one day in the future just for heck of it, but I, I just, like I said, some of these I've watched all the way through, some of them I've sat a little bit through, and some of them I haven't watched at all, so I just picked it because I think it looks cool, and that's a sister testament of the Sister's New Devil. Next up we got is a interesting series, and that's called Burst Angel. Now, funny fact, this show has stars Jamie Archie and Monica Rial, who also voiced Panny and Stuck, and it still blows my mind that Joe's voice actor for the show is the same person who plays, um, uh, stocking, painting, stocking. You know, usually Jamie Marchi has a different voice, uh, uh, a little bit of different voice. But Monica, uh, Monica has such a variety of voice range. Like you know, in this one she's deep and low, and this one in painting, stocking she's high and energetic. Which you know, this is still a really good show, which I would recommend. I think I'm only about 
I'm still on, I think I'm on the second disc right now. You know, because like I said, I don't, I work on weekends. You know, I don't have time on the weekends anymore. So, unless I'm off or anything. So, but it's an interesting show. It takes place in the future, Tokyo, Japan. And this cook, culinary art student, takes, uh, hire, gets hired for, I don't know what they're, I don't know what they are, but they are a law and whatever. So, that, it's very interesting. So, very, I would recommend it. And this one is definitely worth it. Of course, I'm talking about Witchblade. Now, of course, the main character is played by Jamie Marchi, who plays, you know, uh, um, Rhea's Grimmery. I actually sat all the way through on this one, and the ending, I'm not going to give away the ending, but I cry like a fucking crybaby at the end of the show. But it's really, really good, and I just hate how it ended, you know. They always like to make fun of the, uh, you know, in It Chapter 2, where Bill... Uh, you know, writes books and they're like, yeah, I like the book, but I did not like the end. There's been pretty many of times where I've liked the movie or liked the show and I've hate and I did not like the ending or how it ended. And this was one of those where I thought it was really cool and I hate how it ended. So, but oh, we got really cool anime. I definitely like it. And it's reason that this character is a, it looks completely different from just a regular character, you know. There's that. Only three deaths, but, you know, it's definitely worth watching for sure. I recommend it for sure. It's an enjoyable show. A lot of action. Nothing gratuitous or provocative, but it's very, very good. I would recommend it. Last one we got. I just had to pick this up because I watched a compilation. I'm like, oh, this is really cool. And I'm talking about the complete first series, Abaka and Tess. Now, this is actually a Blu-ray. It's just in the form of a regular DVD. Because uh, I think it is regular DVD and regular Blu-ray. And... This one was a cheap one I found on eBay, but this one has a signature. I don't know if it's Jesse Grills or Scott Freeman or Jamie March. I have no idea whose it is, but it's just an autograph on it. So thumbs up for that. But, you know, this are really, really cool. And the one thing I did want to point out, there's a couple on here named uh, Shoku, who's played by Jamie Marchie, and a guy named Yuji, who was played by Scott Freeman, who played... Who, it's usually it's the vice versa uh, high school DX. So you got Issei being obsessed with Rias, and you got this who and Shoku obsessed with Yuji, and it's very very interesting because they're played by the same actors, so just back backwards role. I know there was a ten minute compilation of them on YouTube. I think it got taken down, so hopefully one day I will find it and I can post a link or whatever. So, but that is pretty much it of my anime DVD collection. I'm gonna go one by one again one more time in order. So hopefully they did that right. So we got season one. Abaka and Test. Complete series of Witchblade. Complete series of Burst Angel. Seasons 1 and 2, A Testament of Sister New Devil. Complete series of We Without Wings. Complete series of Orange. Nose is itching. Hopefully I'm doing this right. The complete series of Ren. Uh, I think this is a complete series of Elvin Lied. And how to... Is this a complete series? I have no idea. Uh, season 1 or complete series of How to Summon a Demon Lord. Complete series of Painting and Stalking. First four seasons of, maybe, uh, season three and four of My Hero Academia. Season two, part two of My Hero Academia. Season two, part one of My Hero Academia. Season one of My Hero Academia. Season four, High School DxD Hero. Season 3, High School DxD Born. Season 2, High School DxD New. And Season 1 of High School DxD. High School DxD Season 1 is just called High School DxD. Everyone else gets a different title. But that is my anime collection. I plan on collecting more in the future and doing updates here and there. And by the way, when I popped off, I have my anime collection. I bought this off Vintage Stock or buy it at Vintage Stock. It's a Hatsune Miku concert, which she's going to be in Dallas. Which they sold out and people are verified reselling it for outrageous money. So I highly doubt she'll ever come to Arkansas. But 
Who knows, one day in the future. But that is the end of my anime collection. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what anime you like from favorite on there you want me to talk about in another time or something. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, rate with a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, check out my social media down below. Thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you all in a future video. Take it easy.